have reached the voicemail box of... <laughs> They say that I've been so low-key Well, I gotta be The truth is, if it is all on me Then I'ma find my way out Find my way out Find my way out Find my way out Okay Not everyone sees the same vision that you have for yourself in the story of Joseph, he was rejected by his brothers and his father because he had a dream that that wasn't aligned with what they saw best for him. I feel like we go we go through life trying to uncover the destiny and the plan that God has laid out for our lives. But oftentimes when we do find that we think it's it's going to be an easy road from there. But little do we know that the same feelings of doubt, anxiety, and fear are still present in our circumstances. And, you know, that that's, that's what we need God for. I always thought the saying that what's for you God will bless you with and what's not for you he won't I always thought that saying was really cliche you know because I was I was in the mindset of you know if I want something I can get it until God has given me my vision and what he desires for my life and from there we think it's going to be easy but you're always going to have those people saying well maybe you should do this maybe you should do it this way or maybe you should switch that up and start you know heading in this direction but that's when our faith has to come in hand the faith is knowing that we don't know why God's taking us on this journey or how he's going to take us but in the long run we're going to get there that's the process And I think until we internalize the fact that we can't live for others is when we can actually look up and see the road that he has prepared for us. I've always been, you know, known as, you know, the happy, the happy cue that, that you know, tends to, to kind of brush off of what's going around him and just continue to maintain a positive mindset. It wasn't until I got a little bit older that I started to realize that there are going to be hurdles and obstacles that, that are in my way. And until we learn to deal with those, they keep coming back. And then that's when the anxiety kicks in. That's when the, the depression starts to, to look you in the face. And that's when you start to, to doubt yourself. And I think it's an underlying problem in this nation to overlook the issues and, and the hurdles that the youth has to go through. As a young person, you know, when we try to open up about the things that are going on in our lives, we tend to get shut down because, unquote, we are too young. But at the same time, we are human beings. So we can't control when these certain things, these life circumstances tend to to get in our way. So just know that you are not alone. You can talk to people, you can open up, you can you can sit down with a friend, you can you can talk about your feelings, you can talk about your emotions. It's not a crime. And whenever things just tend to get down on you or you you start to feel yourself wanting to quit or, or give up. Just remember why you're doing what you're doing.
remember why you started the journey that you that you have remember the plan that God has for your life and and there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel you got to keep walking